Alright guys, welcome back and in this tutorial, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to make a flexible grid layout and it's probably the most important tutorial in the series because after you watch this and after you understand it, it's actually really easy to understand, but after you understand it, you're going to know like 90% of how to make responsive websites. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now I deleted all those divs from the last tutorial inside the body and I also cleared out the CSS file so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a menu bar at the top and it can actually have as many buttons as you want on it but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it with four buttons because I don't know it's the first thing that came to mind so I'm gonna make div and I'm gonna make the main class first called menu bar now of course this is just going to be one element and it's going to sit at the top of your website or it can even sit at the bottom or the side wherever and all of my buttons are going to go in here now each of my buttons is going to be its own div and they're all going to have the class of button so we'll make four different ones what do we usually have buttons for on a website home button is usually the first one and four alright so we will have a home button first and then we'll have like a I don't know we'll have a button so you can look at your friends my profile and we'll say this is a bucky's room so we'll say a section for my videos so this is all the main page is going to consist of pretty simple stuff so now let's hop over in your CSS and learn how to style it to make it flexible or responsive so the first thing I want to do is actually just style this main menu bar. I'm not going to be adding any actual responsive properties. I just want to give it some styling so uh, we can see what's going on, distinguish it from the rest of the elements. So I'll just put the text color is going to be white since I'm going to be making the buttons a color. So black font might show up kind of weird on it. And I also like to center align all the text on the main menu bar so this way we don't have to do it on every single individual button so now the only other thing we have to do is actually style these buttons right here so of course the class was button now since our background is white and we want to actually see these buttons we need to give these a background I'll just make it 777 777 this is kind of like a light gray kind of like an average gray now for the width remember we never want to use pixels what we want to use is a percentage now we have four buttons one two three four so what we could do is we could give each of these a percentage of 25 and it'll be fine however if we do that what's gonna happen is they're gonna have no space in between them they're gonna be four buttons butted up right up against each other nice and tight so it's gonna look like one main one long button instead of four individual buttons so instead of giving each of these a width of 25 what I want to do is I want to give them a width of 24 percent and then I'm gonna add um, spacing of one percent on each side of them so how do we do that well let's go ahead and give them a margin of zero 0.5 percent so what this does is it sets the top and the bottom margin just to zero just what it was by default and it gives you a left of half a percent and the right of half a percent so the main width of 24 percent plus half on the left of and half on the right that gives 25 percent to each button so now we have four individual buttons and also they have some padding in between them and I don't want to say padding because that's something else they have some space in between them so now the only other thing I want to do is I want to float these to the left and that'll just make sure that they appear to the left and right instead of stacked on top of each other so now let me save this and refresh and check this out we now have four buttons one two three four and they each have a width of 24 percent so what whatever this parent is let me shrink this so you guys can see it whatever this main parent is each of those take up 24 percent and also 
maybe kind of hard to see, but there is pretty much 1% space in between each one. Now the cool thing about this is no matter how big or how small we shrink, they're not fixed in stone as they would be with pixels. Since we gave them a percentage, it doesn't matter how big or how small this window is, they adapt perfectly, unlike my crappy website that I showed you guys in the very first video. So that is how you make a menu bar or any grid design that you want flexible, responsive, adaptable, freaking beautiful. So again, the one thing you have to watch out for is this is perfect for a four button layout and you can of course tweak it as long as it adds up to 25%. However, whenever you have something like, I don't know, three buttons or five buttons or six buttons, you always want to adjust these values so that whenever you add up all your buttons, they add up to 100%. So that's something you got to look out for. Other than that, your device is going to take care of all the hard work, all of the calculations. It's going to always give you a nice looking website. So in the upcoming tutorials, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to work with images. They're a little bit tricky sometimes. And also, you know how we saw in the first example, when we get to a certain width, what happens is these buttons can stack on top of each other. So we'll say, all right, once you have like less than 600 pixels width, um, only put two buttons on each row. And I'll show you guys how to change that in the upcoming tutorials. But for now, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a cool, flexible, grid, responsive, web design, layout, whatever you want to call it. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.